where you put your hand. No one's paying off the sunny blue. It's really fucked him up with the butcher. Sonny's back over at the Roberto. His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan shark and protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinola's hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, here. Yeah? I hear Sonny's a bit pissed at some mysterious colored fella disrupting his business. Even went all the way down to the meatpacking plant to wait for him. Still trying to figure out how that cool. Huh? You don't belong here. <laughs> we feel <laughs> like good or bad. Can't go off to. So I go God back damn it, and see if he's over there. Wanna look? God damn it! He Nobody's seen him. Shit. Let's try over here now. What? Grab 
Gonna cover. Slip behind it. Must have run him off. Where the hell did he get to? We got a spot to settle now. Nothing. Try over there. Huh? Ain't worth our time. Let him run. Let's look this way. Let's look this way. Must have took off. I ain't giving up that easy. Let's try over here now. Where'd he go? You could be the Bratwurst King of New Bordeaux if you work for me. How's that sound, Sonny? Sure. I kinda like working here anyway. Good. Burke's boys are gonna reach out.
Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. And how did Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. 